What's up? <laughs> Welcome to another studio vlog. Today is Sunday. I'm going to release these once a week. Um, I'm going to try and release them on Sundays. Um, I'm, I'm, my plan is, is Monday through Friday, I'll be filming all the different projects I work on. Um, and then uh, I will be editing and putting them all together uh, for you on Sunday. So let's hope I stick to that schedule. Um, I work better <laughs> with parameters. So here's hoping. Um, this week we're going to do some painting together. I do a little bit of an unboxing. Um, I show you some behind the scenes on a few different projects I worked on this week. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. Um, I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe. Uh, there's a lot going on here in California. There's wildfires, a lot of political unrest. Um, I just think, you know, um, the simplest thing I can say is that we need to be taking care of each other, checking on our neighbors, taking care of ourselves, um, and just recognizing that um, there's a lot of work to be done um, and it requires us coming together. We can't do it alone. So I love you and uh, let's get to it. I wanted to open this with you guys. I ordered some tea from my favorite tea company here in the Bay Area. It's Flowerhead Tea. I'm obsessed. In the afternoons, I drink um, this. What? Well, I'll show you. Oh, how cute is this paper? Oh, I always get like little, this is a little tea bloom. Love that. She always sends like really fun little weird candies. I think last time I got Smarties. Or maybe it was... What are the ones? They're... Dang it. I'm not going to remember what... The... Sweet Tarts. It was Sweet Tarts. So I got Flowerhead Tea. I just love all of her packaging. So cute. And her color choices. Open it up. So this is the one I've been reading, or drinking, reading. This is the one I've been drinking in the afternoon. So I usually have this like at two or three, but it's basically, um, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, so it's like a little bit of matcha with um, green tea. Oh, Moon Tears. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, um, this one has cranberry, oat straw, red raspberry leaf, um, and skull cap. So uh, it's supposed to be really good for um, kind of like helping with cramps and stuff, but also like good, like just a good herbal tea. So I drink herbal tea at night um, and sometimes during the day, depending on if it's cold out or not. Um, and then chronic wellness is one that I already ran out of it. Um, and it has uh, echinacea, St. John's wort, chamomile, lemon, verbena, citrus peel, and skull cap. And it's just like a really good like immunity, like good for your immune system, um, but also like side benefit. Tastes really good. So I'm excited to try uh, Moon Tears, which I've never had before. And then just got some, some more swag. So cute. Yep. Lady owned in Oakland. Definitely check her out. Flowerhead Tea. Um, and on Instagram at Flowerhead Tea. Um, oh, the best. All right. So this week, um, well, I, I guess it was, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Friday. So a week ago, I made a design for um, the wildfires in Santa Cruz. I used to live in Santa Cruz. I went to UC Santa Cruz and my sister lives there and was almost evacuated with the wildfires. And I was really upset last week. Um, canceled lunch club, just kind of needed a day. Um, we're, you know, we've lost a lot of um, pretty special places uh, due to the wildfires. So um, you know, Big Basin, luckily a bunch of the Redwoods survived, but Big Basin, Pie Ranch, like a bunch of just really magical places. I live on the coast in San Francisco and I drive down Highway 1 to get to my sister. Um, 
you know, a couple times a month, a little less with COVID, but a couple times a month. And it's been a safe haven for me, a place that I just love being. And it's heartbreaking to uh, just know that the people there are being displaced and hurting and struggling. So I, I didn't know what to do. And so I created a t-shirt campaign through Bonfire, which is this really cool company. Um, I'm gonna show you. I brought the design that I made in um, Procreate into Illustrator. I uh, image traced everything and turned it vector so that all of the edges would be really um, clean. And then I uploaded it onto Bonfire. You get to like choose your colors, etc. Bonfire makes it pretty easy for those of us who are not super, um, I don't know, savvy. <laughs> I would say I'm okay, but I'm not like super savvy. I ended up buying one of each of the t-shirts and a gold sweatshirt for myself. Um, but the crazy thing is, is you can make it so all of the funds go to the nonprofit of your choice. I wanted to, I didn't want to take on any of the funds for this. So I chose Community Foundation of Santa Cruz County. Um, and now there's a couple of different, um, designs which is pretty neat um, but you input the tax ID number of the nonprofit of your choice and then um, usually if it's a verified nonprofit it'll pop up um, if it doesn't then um, you know you might have to figure out a different way to do it maybe uh, you can make it so that the funds go directly to you and then you can donate them I just always feel a little bit um, sketched out by that but the crazy thing is is I've sold like we have sold over 1300 um, and so we've made over almost $22,000 for this nonprofit, which is incredible. Um, so they basically, the more you sell, the more um, money goes to the nonprofit. So if you are thinking about doing any sort of like design for a nonprofit or even just a design for yourself, you can make like a shop. Let's see if I can show you the shop. You can go to your shop. I set this up so that I could direct people here and they could see that there's t-shirts and sweatshirts. And I'm also working on, let's see. A USPS one but the problem with the USPS let me see go to my campaigns the problem with USPS is that it's not a nonprofit so I don't know I don't want to collect money and then buy stamps <laughs> I don't know that just seems crazy so I'm trying to figure out how I might do that uh, this is my new sketchbook from Tuesday of California which I thought I'd share. I'm down on the floor because Francis likes to hang out on the floor, but he's being shy right now. But this is um, the sketches I made for this. Uh, the painting is uh, for their show NSFW, which is not suitable for work. And I'm gonna do a bunch of bods. They're gonna be, they're gonna have like uh, hairy arms and armpits and legs and, um, have landscapes on their bodies, almost like tattoos, but I'm gonna have them be colorful and maybe even three-dimensional and like come off of the bodies. <laughs> there he is. Um, and then their underwear, I'm thinking a lot about like uh, sexual symbolism. So their undies and, um, you know, maybe bras and stuff like that will have um, like fruits and flowers and maybe some snakes, which are all like, traditional symbols of sex. Um, and then they'll, I think I'm gonna incorporate like maybe a table with like snacks or something. But I just wanted to like sketch out one of the people. I don't typically get for my paintings too involved in the exact details of what the painting's gonna look like. Um, to me, that's just not why I do it. But I thought I'd share some other sketches. I made this on Friday for uh, Project Fridays for Lunch Club on Instagram with Alexis of Case for Making. The theme was filling up a full page, which clearly I, I still need to fill it up, but with flowers, faces, and vases. Okay, we're gonna start. Everybody trying to go, hit a party jumping off. Ain't we putting on a show? Trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like, na 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 na. Feeling like I'm on the highway. Cause every 
seeming going my way And now they looking at me sideways I'm like, no, 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 no This is where I wanna be, no, no, no Never ever gonna leave, no, no, no You ain't gonna get it from me I'm like, no, 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 no This is where I wanna stay, no, no, no I could do this every day Party, make a toast, it's a party every day. So anywhere you go, all across the coast, we do it every time. Like na 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 I got nothing but the highlights. Can't believe that this is my life. I'm only living on the bright side. I'm like na 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 This is where I wanna be. Little is Truder. He's a good girl. Trudy is spending more time with me while I'm working. Dave has been unemployed for the last couple of months, like six months because of COVID, because um, he used to bartend. And now he's starting his job at USPS. And so Trudes and I are together more. And we have to come up with new systems because previously I was in the outdoor studio and I would just bring her in there and close the door. She's pretty high anxiety. Um, but now that we're, I'm upstairs in this other studio that I created in the last six months, um, being up here is a little harder because we have the cat and she's super scared of the cat. <laughs> so uh, we're trying out dog beds on the desk. Seems reasonable. <laughs> 